Om Shanti, welcome to 20th of October Scott Blessing. Jealousy is a sin and that's what God is telling us in Brahma Kumaris. Now why is it a sin? We're going to explore that over here in just a bit. Think about it. If you are jealous of somebody, are you focusing on your own role, your own part which you come here to play or are you distracted? If you are distracted then you are not playing the role which God has asked you to play over here. That means you are not in touch with yourself, your own strengths. And you're not working on overcoming your weaknesses. You're focused on somebody else's weaknesses, by the way. And the second thing which we do generally when we are jealous of someone is we try to put that person down in our own mind first and then we try to put that person down in everybody else's mind. That means we start talking ill about that person. Or we try to bring that person down in some way. We put all our energy into bringing that person down. That means we're trying to move that person away or we're trying to be a hurdle in that person's life. Isn't that a sin too? Exactly. So God always says how to get over this sin. He says, May you be a special soul and save yourself from committing the sin of jealousy by keeping the father in front of you. Because of equality in Brahmin souls, we are all equal, jealousy arises. We all equal means even though somebody is 30 years old in this knowledge or 10 years old in this knowledge or somebody who's just come and he's sprinting very fast, somebody who's 30 years old might get jealous of someone who's new. Jealousy arises because knowledge is same, methods are same. Everyone is given the equal chance. Because of jealousy, there is a clash of sanskars, our habits don't match. Right? However, in this, if someone equal to you has become an instrument for a special task, especially think who it is who has made him an instrument. Who could it be? Especially in the spiritual seva. Bring the father in front of you and then Maya in the form of jealousy will run away. If you don't like something about someone, then hand it over to the one above with good wishes. God, may the soul find the right path, may the soul do the right things. I leave it up to you. I'm not going to take it in my hands. That means we, when we try to take it in our hands, we try to either badmouth that person, we try to tell somebody senior, or that means we complain about that person to somebody, and we bring about a negative environment around that whether it's in the center, whether it's in the, any other organization. My in the form of jealousy will run away. If you don't like something about someone, then hand it over to the one above with good wishes. One is the creator and the one who's a senior, a brother or sister who has given that work to somebody. But don't do it out of, you know, you don't do it out of putting that person down or bringing that person down or complaining. You can say that, you know, sister, what if that person who's doing the seva, what if that person does it in this way, how would that be? Don't try to put, remove that person and put yourself in that person's place. That I would have done it better than this person. No. Then God says, have a race among yourselves, but do not complete, do not compete with others, and you will become a special soul. Have a race among yourselves. It's like you know, it's like a friendly race where people they are not doing it or they are not running the race to win. They are running the race to enjoy it. You see, everybody's life is different, everybody's experiences are different, everybody's family is different, everybody's friends and uh, companions and everybody is different. So the path is different, but the destination is the same. Why the path is different? Because all of these varieties, no two people, whether they're in the same job, same city, are having a same kind of life. Everything about them is different. But the goal is the same. So path is different, but the goal is the same. So we can have a race, but why should we compete? Because scenarios are different, situations are different, whether it's family situations, financial situations, health situations, mental situations, everything is different for every soul, right? Every soul is different. And everybody has been given a different scenario to overcome their problems, their issues. But the path is the same and in spirituality especially to come overcome lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, everybody has to find their own method to overcome it. God will give the guidance but the methods have to be imbibed on our own. To learn more about this, Om Shanti with this.